This is Algebra 2, Section 13.2, Angles in the Unit Circle. Um, so there's a lot of little topics in this section. So first thing are some terms that we need to use. So when we talk about an angle being in standard position, what that means is that the vertex will be at the origin. So where the angle is is at the origin. Um, one ray that forms the angle is, in, is the, basically the positive x-axis. So we call this the initial side. So we always start there and then we spin counterclockwise to a certain spot. And where we stop, that's called our, our terminal side. Uh, so we always measure angles counterclockwise. Um, so we always move this way around. Um, we can go clockwise. We can go this way around. We show that though. We indicate that by making the angle negative. So we always spin this way to make it positive. If we go this way, it's negative. Um, so some angles that we want to um, use, um, common ones, 90. So think about what a 90 degree angle is. It would start there, but then open up and stop there. That's a 90 degree angle. If I go from here to here, that's a straight line. So that's 180 degrees. If I do this from here all the way around to here, that would be 180 and then an additional 90. So that's 270 degrees. And finally, all the way around, if I go back to where I started, that's 360. Um, and these are degrees. When we talk about an angle, a lot of the times we're going to use a Greek symbol. This right here, is, it looks like a zero with a line through it. It's actually a Greek symbol, a Greek letter actually, and it's called theta. So if you see this, if you like that, that's, that just means the angle we're looking at and we call it theta. Okay, so first things first is I am, I'm going to give you a reference angle and you are going to either have to draw it or find the angle that is actually the opening. So kind of the two ideas. So what I want to think about then is I give you this which here is basically called a reference angle. So a reference angle is typically an angle that is between 0 and 90. But what I want here is this one, this opening. So what I want to think about then is two ways you can think about it. Either think this whole thing to here, that makes a straight line, so I'm thinking the 180 idea, but I'm short 30 degrees from the 180. So I can do 180 minus 30, that tells me then that this opening here is 150 degrees. Totally fine. The other way to think about it is add up the parts that make it up. So I know from here to here is 90, and then I know that this is also going to be 90. So what I have to do then to get this opening is recognize because this is 90, I don't want that, I want to stop here at this part. I would have to do 90 minus 30, which would get me 60. And then if I add these two up, it still gets me the 180. I'm sorry, uh, the answer, I'm sorry, of 150. So two ways to do it. You either figure out the big part and then subtract up what you don't, or add up what you do have. Both ways are fine. Okay, so if I try these, I need this whole big thing from here to here. So because I'm thinking about this one, I personally would probably do the idea, I'm almost all the way around. And I know all the way around is 360, but I don't want the 40. So I would probably do 360 minus 40 with this one. Okay, which tells me then that opening, oops, all the way around here is 320 degrees. The other way I could do this if I'd wanted to was think all the way from here to here, that's 270. And then these two together would have to be 90, which would leave me then 50 degrees for this part. So if I do 270 plus 50, I also get 320. Okay, if I try this one. For this one, I would probably figure out, I personally would probably do how, I would probably think how much do I actually have? Because I know from here to here, if I stop right here, that's 180, and then I wanna do 50 more. Okay, so that's probably what I would do, is I would do 180 plus 50 with this one. Um, <clears throat> so if I do that, 180 plus 50 is 230. Um, or, conversely, I could have said, I could have figured out this, because again, this is 90. That's 50 here, so I, this would be 40. And I don't want the 40. But if I, if I go all the way to here, that's 270, and I don't want the 40, which would still get me 230 degrees. So again, either add up what you have, or subtract up what you don't, from a bigger angle. Okay, and then our other idea is kind of the opposite idea. I can give you the angle, and then you sketch it. So again, remember, we always start here. So I'd, this is not drawn out of computer, so it's a little bit goofy looking, but you would draw, basically draw this idea, and then put an arrow to where you stop. So if I want to draw a 200 degree angle in standard position, I first got to think about where I am. So I'm past 180, I'm past the straight line idea by 20 degrees. So the 20 degrees would be the reference angle I would want to use. So I know from here to here is 180, I need to go 20 more, so I would label the 20 right there in this spot. The other way I could have done this if I'd wanted to, so that reference angle, remember, is basically I have to keep that angle that's less than 90, or equal to 90, I guess I could say. So I could do this, and then I could label this angle as well. That would be fine too. So from here to here is 270. 
So I could do um, 270 minus 200, which would give me 70 there. Either of these is fine. You typically would see it with the smaller angle, but this would be fine too. Um, either of those would work. Sketch a negative 40 degree angle in standard position. So again, I'm going to start at this positive x-axis idea. I see the negative, which means I'm going to spin clockwise. So I would draw that part and that line right there, the terminal side of that angle. And then because that is um, less than 90 already, I can just leave it as negative 40 right there. Or conversely, you could have labeled this angle as well. If you'd wanted to, it would be 50. Okay, if I try this one, I want to go 300 degrees. So I'm thinking about that's going around. So that's 90, 180, 270 which is then I'm going to stop somewhere in here okay, because I only want 300 degrees. I'm not going to get all the way around to 360. I'm going to draw my terminal side right there. Then again, either I can label this angle right here or this angle right here, and it doesn't matter. If I labeled this angle, that means I'm thinking about the 270 idea, getting from here to here. How much more did I have to go? So if I think about that, I would have to go 30 degrees more. So I could either label this 30, or I could figure out this, I think all the way around is 360, and I don't want this. So I can do 360 minus 300, and that would get me my 60 here. So either way is fine. This is good, or if you had done this. Same location, but labeled this 30, that would be fine too. So either of these would be fine. 95, so that's really close to 90, so I'm going to get to 90, because that's 90 there. And then I have to go a little bit further, so about there or so. I'm going to draw my terminal side, and then either I have to label this angle right here or this angle right here, and again, it doesn't matter. If I want this, I'm going to think, okay, I, the 95 is the whole thing. I would take off the 90, so I would either label this 5 degrees, which would be fine, or I can think to find this part. If I put those two together, I'm making the straight line right there, so I'm thinking 180. If I do 180 minus 95, that would tell me this angle here. Okay, so I'm either going to put 5 here or 85 here. Either way is fine. Okay, so 85 there or 5 here. The negative 100. So I got to think about the idea of the negative. All that negative means is that we're going the other way. So we're not going clockwise. Or we're not going counterclockwise. We're going clockwise. We're going this way around. That's all the negative means. So now we don't have to worry about the negative. It just means I'm going this way around. I'm heading that direction. If I get from here to here, that's all, that's 90. So I got to go a little bit further because I have to have extra 10 degrees to get to the 100. Sounds good, thanks. <laughs> okay, so that's 10 degrees. So I can either label that 10, or I can label this 80. Either way is fine. Sorry, what? Um, oh. Okay, so that's that idea. So draw them in the right spot, and then label that either uh, the reference angle, an angle that's between 0 and 90. Okay, two ways to, you can always label it, whichever one is fine. Um, one other idea we got to talk about is called coterminal angles. So coterminal co angles are basically um, they have the same terminal side, just one will go clockwise and the other one will go counterclockwise. So the idea here is that this is, you know, this idea, if I spun this way around and ended up at the same spot, that's its co-terminal angle. Okay, so one's going to go clockwise, one's going to go counterclockwise. So if I go clockwise, that's a negative angle. If I go counterclockwise, it's a positive angle. So basically, if you take off the negative idea of that one that's going uh, clockwise, it's going to add up to 360. So if I want to find the coterminal angle to 60 degrees, I just got to think, okay, how short am I from, from 360? 360 minus 60 is 300, so that's the coterminal idea. Then I just have to recognize because this one is positive, this will be negative. Um, and then another idea is that the idea is I can spin around and I can keep going. I can go around as many times as I want. If I go more than one time around, it means I'm, my angle that I'm going is more than 360. Okay, so that's the idea of if you have an angle that's more than 360. So to deal with this, essentially, what you want to do is keep subtracting off 360 until you get an angle that's less than 360. Then we can draw it like normal, like these. Okay, so for example, if I have a 600 degree angle, what I'd want to do then is do 360, I'd want to start with the 600 and subtract 360. Three, or 600 minus 360 is 240 degrees. So that means that 600 degrees is basically me going around once and then continuing until I get to 240 again. So once around and then another, then more. So all I want to think about, if I'm going to draw a, three, a 600 degree angle, I'm going to draw a 240. They would look the same. We just disregard the extra spin that we did. So I would start at the 
positive idea. I'm going to go this way around. That's 180. That means I have 60 degrees more, which I've labeled at 60. Or conversely, you could say that's three or that's uh, 270. Uh, and figure out this angle and label it here, which would be 30, because I'm 30 short from um, 270. Then I could ask you to find the coterminal angle to the 600 degree angle. Well, first thing first, again, change it to 240. And then the coterminal angle then would again be these two added together to get 360. We just have to make one of the negative. Okay, I'm going to try this one. So the same idea. I'm going to sketch it and I'm going to find the coterminal angle for this. So first things first, I just noticed that it's negative. Just recognize that just means, again, remember we're spinning this way around. Okay, so don't worry about the negative idea. It just means we're going the other way. What I want to do first is do 740 minus 360. And so I'm still over, actually. I'm at, I'm at 380 right now, so I'm going to do another 360. So negative 740 degrees is the same thing as negative 20 degrees. That's what that means. Okay, I had to subtract off more than once. It just means we went more than one time around. That'd be one set of 360, negative, two sets of 360, negative, and then 20 degrees extra. Okay, so that's what that means. So this is what it would look like. Okay, so I have it here. I would draw this, and I would label it 20 or negative 20. Or I could label this, again, 70. Either way is fine. So now what I have to think about then is the coterminal. I have to go this way around. So what would this be? Well, all the way around is 360, but I don't want the 20. So my coterminal angle would be 340 degrees. This one's negative. That one will have to be positive. 